So the question is, how does a Pachika Buddha become a Pachika Buddha? Firstly, what is the, basically, what is the difference between an Arahant and a Buddha? This was answered, this was asked by the Buddha and answered by the Buddha in one sutta. The Buddha asked his disciples, what is the difference between an Arahant, Samasam Buddha, and his disciple, enlightened by wisdom? Actually, during the Buddha's time, the Arahant was the Buddha. Because the Buddha had ten names, you know, one of the names of the Buddha was Arahant. And uh, his disciples uh, were called Arahant later. Uh, he used to call them disciples liberated by wisdom. So what is, uh, how did the Buddha answer? Uh, what is the difference between uh, Samasam Buddha and his Arahant disciple? The Buddha said the Buddha is the first uh, to walk the Noble Eightfold Path. Uh. He has found the Noble Eightfold Path uh, and he walks the Noble Eightfold Path and he's very proficient in the Noble Eightfold Path and he teaches the Noble Eightfold Path uh, to others, uh, expounds the Noble Eightfold Path. And his Arahant disciples uh, follow the same path. Uh. So in other words, our Buddha is the first Arahant. Our Buddha is the first Arahant. And his disciples follow the same path after him. So if they follow the same path, they arrive at the same place, yes or not? Ah, that is why um, the highest attainment you can get uh, is the Arahant. Because the Buddha himself is an Arahant. An Arahant comes from the word Arahatta. Ara and Hatta. Ara is the spokes of the wheel. Which wheel? The wheel of existence, la, Sangsara. Hatta means it's broken, destroyed. So an Arahatta or Arahan is one who has destroyed the wheel of rebirth. That means he won't be reborn. Ah. But there's one difference eh, between Buddha and Arahan. Namely, an Arahan eh, is one who is enlightened after listening to the Buddha's Dhamma. But a Buddha is a self-enlightened one. He is enlightened by his own effort. So usually eh, a Buddha is a Sakadagamin, a second stage Arya who comes back the last time as a human being. So he will strive very hard eh, until he becomes enlightened. Nah. Now what's the difference between a Pacheka Buddha and a Samasam Buddha? A Samasam Buddha is one who wants to teach the Dhamma to the world. But a Pacheka Buddha is one uh, who is not willing to teach the Dhamma to the world. Other than that, there is no difference uh, between the Pacheka Buddha and the Samasam Buddha. In fact, our Sakyamuni Buddha after he was enlightened, he contemplated the world in our Vinayam books, it is mentioned. And then he realized that human beings are all, we, we, we are all lazy. We like to follow our feelings and flow with our feelings, just like going down the stream. If you swim down the down, down river, it's very easy, isn't it? The water will push you downstream. If you want to swim upstream, uh, very susa, isn't it? Put a lot of effort and then you find you can hardly move upstream, yes or not? Uh, so because of that, the Buddha uh, decided uh, that he did not want to teach to the world. Uh. And then the Brahma, one of the Pantin Wong, uh, I think Brahma Sahampati, he realized uh, what the Buddha was thinking. So he came down and then he beseeched the Buddha. He pleaded to the Buddha to teach to the, the Dhamma, to the world. Uh. He said there are some beings, uh, a small percentage of beings uh, with little dust in their eyes. If you don't teach them, then they will not progress. Uh. They will regress. Uh. If you teach them, then they will make progress. Uh. Then he pleaded with the Buddha three times. Then because of his pleading with the Buddha, the Buddha again contemplated the world eh, 
and he realized uh, that there actually are some beings uh, who can be helped by the true Dhamma. So because of that, uh, he came to teach the world. Uh. So you find uh, most Buddhas are like our Buddha. They don't want to teach. That's why in one sutta, Isigili sutta, the Buddha mentioned a hill outside of Rajagaha called Isigili. And the Buddha said at one time there were 500 Pacheka Buddhas living in the, on that hill. So you see, at one time, sometimes you can find so many Pacheka Buddhas. But very hard to find one uh, who is willing to teach to the world. Uh, that's why the Buddha mentioned uh, in 91 world cycles, 91 kappas, that he saw uh, only six Buddhas. Only six Buddhas appeared. That means more than, on the average, uh, more than 10, 10 world cycles before you can meet a uh, 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 Sama Sambuddha. So we are extremely fortunate uh, that we are able to meet the true Dhamma.